Monumental poles are more than just art. They hold histories, they mark events, and they tell stories. This pole that we're working on here is 42 feet and it tells many different stories from the Guayanas area. It also represents the 20th anniversary of the agreement between the Haida Nation and Canada to protect Guayanas from mountaintop to seafloor. When I was a little kid, my dad was always carving, he was working on canoes, working on a totem pole right in our house. And as I grew up, I, I started to realize how fortunate I was to be able to grow up around that and, and learn from that. In the old days, the, the poles used to line the villages. There'd be do dozens in front of every village. And in the early 1900s, uh, missionaries were coming and encouraging the people to cut down the poles and, and collectors were coming in and taking them. So it's really nice to be part of the bringing back of the poles to Guayanas. When we're walking through the forest looking for a, a cedar to be used for a totem pole or canoe, it's pretty pretty neat feeling because the same features that we're looking for in the forest are the same things that my ancestors were looking for 5,000 years ago and they are walking through the same forests. The pole that we're working on is the first pole to go up in 130 years in, in Guayanas and this, this uh, feature right here shows the Athli Gwai blockade. What happened was there's a blockade in the early 1980s and that stopped the logging and, and protected Guayanas for future generations. It was important for me to put the story of Athli Gwai on the pole and a lot of people put in a lot of work to create Guayanas. This is the old story of how earthquakes happen on Haida Gwaii. The figure is sacred when standing and moving, and as he moves, that's when Haida Gwaii shakes and causes the earthquakes. I put this on because after I started carving the pole, the, we had a major earthquake on Haida Gwaii, and the water in our hot springs down in Guayanas actually stopped flowing to the pools. This figure here is a watchman. A lot of Haida poles have watchmen on the top, but I wanted to include this because we have the, the Guayanas watchmen and they look after the old village sites and they educate the people who come to visit. So it's really gratifying to be carving this pole and it shows that our way of life continues. Things change, but the meaning behind what we do stays the same. <laughs>